Now we're going to talk about burn, runway, and then finally financials. So when you're talking about your burn rate, that's how much cash did your business burn in the single month. So the easiest way to do this is just look at beginning of the month cash uh, and end of the month cash, and then how much cash uh, was was left over. So you, you had 744 at the beginning of the month, and then at the end of the month, you had 695. So you burned $48,000. Same in April, you know, we burned $36,000. So when investors ask, what is your runway? That means how many months of cash do you have until you have no more cash? So how many months of cash do you have um, for your business? So a lot of investors will just say, they'll take your end of month cash and you'll divide it by your burn rate. And so they'll say, okay, if they keep burning this amount of, of money each month, we have 14 months of cash. And if they keep burning this amount of cash each month, they have 18 months of cash. So a lot of investors do this, even if you give them a projection and say, no, it's a specific month, they, they'll just do it like this. But if you do have projections and you're doing cost cuts or you have visibility into your sales, then use your projections. So like in our scenario, let's say in March, we'd given guidance that we were going to break even by October. Um, and then now we say we're going to break even by August because our, our numbers are looking really, really good. So use your projections if, if you have them. Okay, so we reduced our burn from 49K to 36K on the back of improved uh, retention, growth, and uh, reduced CAC. And then based um, on our forecasts, we expect to hit cash flow break even by August. Okay. 